Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Phoenix Right. It's been a little bit, it's been like two weeks because life just got in the way and all that shit, but hopefully we should play this a little bit more. Um, on Sunday morning, I hope to stream it again as well. Saturday morning, I want to stream some Isaac, and Sunday afternoon I might stream some stuff. Yeah, I know mate. And what? I've got free time, why not? We'll stream later in the afternoon as well. <laughs> but, um, little refresher with Phoenix Wright. We are on the Turnabout Sisters. We did day one, the investigation and the courtroom thing. We found that there was this little ego cat girl thing. She lied. Like Alex Jones, that son of a bitch. And kept on flexing her tits. It was really weird. But, um, yeah, she basically lied about not having a second person in her room. Oh my god. Oh, and about, like, our defendant murdering someone. That part's important as well. September 7th, 3.11pm, detention centre, visitor's room. There is... Yeah, there she is, April. Ooh, uh, hello. I didn't expect anyone to be in such a dank place. For the it's really quite amusing. For a dank... Fuck it. Not you stinking like I hope you die. <laughs> True. If you got that hat, yes, slap the full misery. No, not really. It's not I wanted to ask. I gotta do some investigating. We need to figure out what's going on. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? No, you can't. Jesus. You can't say that. That is too. Fucking fat, mate. You can't be saying stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone does. <laughs> I think most people hate it for more than two reasons. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> oh, God's never heard of that. Please, scare the security guard. He, he hasn't reacted at all. He hasn't flinched one bit, but you're scaring him. Oh, that part, that happens, like, everywhere. The gun's everywhere part. Okay, I understand. But, yeah, they have people screaming at 2am everywhere. So, was he was asking me then? Mm -hmm. Status. How did you get me so totally whack? Examine. Oh, I can't, I want to hit it. <laughs> Went to examine her. Yeah, what, well, Marion? That's mad about the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had someone to get her to talk. The wiretap. Why can't you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Ah, uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. It's almost like you're a criminal. <laughs> that seems. Um, tapping people's phones is a crap. Turns out you are a criminal. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school. Hmm. Your little lawyer school creep. Uh, this woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude, say. Why are you so angry? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not like I locked you up. You don't look like a bad person. Oh, that doesn't matter if it comes like a liar. A bottom? <laughs> I'm not a bottom, I'm a top. I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or is it just me? Mm. <laughs> Fucking fake. Presents. Do we have anything to um, get her to divulge who the other person was? <laughs> True. True. Yeah, I don't think we've got anything else to really do. Here. Let's go back to the offices. Let's go to the scene of the crime. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. So that means you could just walk in. <laughs> oh, Forensics just decided to take the day off so anyone can come into the crime scene. 
Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. Are you sure that they didn't take the day off and it's more the fact that they've just, you know, finished? <laughs> Love some subliminal messaging. Ah, uh, subliminal. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose I can't take a look around, though. Plan. Oh, I've got water. What? The sky is blue and so am I. So am I bald. An old movie poster? What movie? This was the first movie that made me a cry. <laughs> baby. Little fucking baby. That's it. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. It's just literally an office. Wait, what? Oh my god, some of the files are missing. No, not imagining things. Look further. Investigate. Or don't, I guess. <laughs> or just give up. <laughs> Why would you cry at that point? Unless you're talking about the girl with the tits out. <laughs> oh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Um, uh, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. Well, you kind of lied at everything. No, 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 not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only hate the gate, gate warders rep, as they say. Oh, rep? Yes, our reputation was swell, so I tell the murderer used to wind that. We could charge premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May has been charged with murder. She's just a normal criminal. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. <laughs> Oh, what we all aspire to be. If so, you are an honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. How about some iced coffee? I feel like murdering someone today. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir. Not to boast, but I need to moment I saw her. She do it, I said. <laughs> well, that, that was a great, great line of questioning there. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Oh, yes. He shocked me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. I knew he would murder somebody. He and I had the same ilk. We both carried a sin of danger. Are you trying to say that you're a fucking murderer? That's what I'm getting at. There. We're in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> American Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Well, I don't, because I don't even know what he looks like. Can you tell me about this hotel? Oh, absolutely, I know that subject. I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. Subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder, murder. <gasps> yeah, look, he clearly admitted to murder enough. Clearly. Well, what do you think? Uh, sounds great. Where floats your tea set? Yo, I'm gonna quickly. Whoosh. Does that work? Kind of. There we go. That that probably works well. Boom. It's like no good place to put chat. Oh no, we want to examine. The drawer. Oh, there's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Ah, oh, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror. Hiding places in the murder is why I death. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. A plan. Wow. Another poster. Wow. Some champagne. Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. But if you can please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink. But what murder? <laughs> we'll be famous for talking to hotel industry. Bed. Window. Ah, yes, we plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars worth of you three minutes of a view to a hill. Just kidding, sir. <laughs> Is there anything? I don't see anything else in this room. Fuck, I 
I didn't mean press that again. Move me on. Take me to the Laura. Wait, what? He had a painting up there. What the fuck happened to it? He's the murderer. But, huh? Looks like Grossberg's out today. Okay. Maybe he's voiding me for some reason. Where did it go? Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting in the wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of. Fuck, I don't remember. A, a fisherman. Wasn't it? It wasn't a very good painting. Give me, give me another chance. It was a painting of Marvin Grossberg himself. No. <laughs> clearly, clearly, you're out of. Um, what the fuck is this? What's this? Old photos? There are two Latin here. Sounds been written in pencil on the bats. DL6, incident exhibit A. DL6, incident exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. It's a woman! I'm sure I've seen this person somehow. This is Catgirl. This has got to be Catgirl. I'm, I can, I'm telling you now, this is Catgirl. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. It might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. <laughs> what the fuck is... Who the fuck is this guy? What the hell? <laughs> Shh, it's not theft. I'm borrowing it, okay? I'm not stealing, I'm borrowing. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll swap photos for now, because... This is of a man, so if I show it to the bellboy, it might be, it might be our suspect. I don't think there's really anything else to look in here, we're just gonna keep on going through all the shit. Yeah, take, take me back to the, to the hotel. Hotel Motel. Presents. No, we use it for evidence. Evidence, totally. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, well, I know that. I just want to say detective wants to know how it is. No, I don't. Without a doubt, that is a man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an... An affidavit. An Swearing that that's him. I would love if you wrote an affidavit. I don't know what the fuck that is. This guy is way too excited about this. Write it. Well, sure. Why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit. Sir, of <laughs> course, he boy and he girl. It all makes sense. From henceforth, I'll be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Bellboys uh, have a divot. <laughs> Alright. I want to go pick up that other... Well, actually... Yeah, let's just go present it. You again! Get a ticket to stay gone. You don't just have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. Boom. Present. Did you have a look at this? What's that? <laughs> The bellboy's affidavit. It touches everything he's got. It, what fucking word is that? Why is it you so much? Such a man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. Urgh, I'm angry. Now I'm getting somewhere. I'm gonna... Push her hard. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. <laughs> what? Even though you should have been witness to murder, your little friend is missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with this reputation. Ooh, if I don't talk, you, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, I felt good. It's great to be alive. <laughs> the adrenaline. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Uh-oh. I got a little bit excited. Now tell me more about the man you were with. That man? 
<laughs> He's my boss. Red, white. The president of the information gathering conglomerate the you for. Red, white, and blue, baby. Red. White. Information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. This is man that was with you tonight in murder. I... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. You can tell me where Blue Corp is located? Try, I'll just pull up Google. Dumbass. Mr. Red White at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. Faithful Man couldn't have done it. That leaves him. Time to take action. Oh, they just got rid of the Avadavadits. I do remember them mentioning a Mr. White before. Oh, shit, he's here. <laughs> it won't be, yeah, it won't be an issue. It's not an issue. Aha, you again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well, you look like the thing, my boy. <laughs> Excuse me? The trial, the trial. It was that. It reminded me of myself when I was a youth. Just less fat. I guess something got passed down through me, a baby. It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. You see? I apologize. Ah, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I will. Ah. I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. <laughs> True. No, the other photo is gone. Shit, I wanted that one. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get one to sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just uh, me and sister, that porker. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know why we're done. Things have gone poorly for that girl. Then why, why didn't you offer the vendor, huh? Why did you do nothing? As before, but why did you refuse our request for the fans? I think I have a right to know. The uh, right, Mr. Right? Mm -hmm. No, no, well, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. I forgot my excuse, you shame. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. Uh, right, Mr. Right? Mr. Right. Oh, Mr. Left. The other day, I'm sure there was a big pretentious looking painting on that wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Oh, yes, well, I got rid of it. I'm quite tired of the thing, really. I, uh, sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. Sold it. I'm not sure I buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Didn't you say you wouldn't sell it? Hmm? I don't see I said in your business. Please speak over that accursed painting. I didn't. I. Bum, 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 bum. What if I present him with the picture? Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back at once. I'm sorry to take you without your knowledge, but I have to know who is this man? He's most likely in April May's room that I'm murder. <laughs> Shit, say. Are, are you quite sure, my boy? Why are you so flustered? I, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. Yeah, I'm rather life, so. Don't return the photo. No. Idiot. Idiot there. That's the fucking painting! What? <laughs> What's with the surreal decor? Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? Hmm. Yeah. What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Right, Phoenix Right. Inquirably. Mr. Right, is it right? I see. Split difference. Perhaps I'd intimidate you with my giant test vocabulary and his trip. Jesus. What is this guy's problem? 
I'm red, white, see you here with blue core, you know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I may not use to converse with the wordly challenged. What a fruitcake. Mm, let me guess. You are entirely fresh out of law school, are you nah? That's the only explanation for why you come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? What do you mean? No matter. So what business does a mighty liar have with a man such as myself? Yeah, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Bro, what's with this music? Bang up. Sorry, I need to examine something. The painting. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity. I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original. Worth five billion for sure. Hmm. Trophies. Wow. Judge's special runner up. Best participation. Judge's cooperation award. <laughs> special good try prize. Hmm. The words judges and special kind of stand out. Mm, yes, mm, yes, true, yes, mm, yes, that is very accurate, very correct, very, <laughs> very true. Statue of man holding up the world, it's not any man, it's Atlas. The blue core sign, something stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too mutatious for you to appreciate, perhaps. I think it's a little mutatious for just about anyone to appreciate. Bro, I've just noticed. The legs of this table. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm guessing it's supposed to be a desk. My, my. This is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, you see. Well, does it sneak round a chair not inspire you? He's definitely jacking off to his own ass. His own table ass. This is top four of 20 story building. He was quite presidential. Presidential to you. Alright, talk. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corps, is she not? Correct. She was my secretary. Secretary? What? <laughs> what? Why does it sound like a fucking. a, a position in a Roman army? <laughs> he definitely does. He is full on. Patrick Bayton. What a shock! It was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she has paid answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is infallible that she would do this. Sounds like trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Where were you the night of the murder? Were you in her room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to the mundane details such as time and place. I sometimes, I barely pay attention to where I am or when I am. I don't even know where we are right now or what time it is. True. He's just a poser. My motto is, don't worry, uh, be happy. Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy stayed on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can stay when he pleases. I still want to talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Well, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. I mean, I would. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. The police. The courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Blue Core. What kind of company is Blue Core anyway? Mm, excellent question, excellent question. We're many, we're many things. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. So, information. In just 10 years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now. Uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Core was named after the color blue. Thank you for letting me know. I read why a Blue Core as founder and CEO named it so. <laughs> it was just a wee little 
I don't even see anything blue in this room, apart from, like, a couple of pens. Where's all the blue? Why is it named after blue if there's no blue? Huh? What is this shit? I don't know. I don't trust it. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Then why are you... Why do you have purple hair? Why do you have a pink fucking suit? And why do you have, like, a dark red tie? I see a bit of blue, but no way it's your favorite color. I'll fucking believe you. Just because you got blue eyes like me, the best fucking color eyes. But yeah, he's literally Pinkman. He's fucking Pinkman. And he's going, ah, I love blue. Fantastic. Is it not? I don't believe that he really likes blue. Oh, uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You have actually seen that painting before. Oh. Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple, uh, rather. My question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zitch. Zipple. Naga. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grady Bagger. We'll watch. I think his rings are brass knuckles. I think he literally just beat the shit out of me. He, he just beat the shit out of me with his brass knuckles. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault. Judge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? How? What? <laughs> Need my exposition? The police? The gods? They all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Came here from Grady Buggins, I presume. Mr. Gracebugs, yes. Then you must ask him. Why is it that it's painting of it tanks here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he'll explain how a man can live with life purely for personal profit. Go now! Skedaddle! There is nothing more to discuss. You son of a bitch, you! I'll get you next time! But, uh, I don't think it's nice me standing up. Maybe I should clear my friend. <coughs> I him. Jump in, Jehoshaphat! Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Mm, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. So it's really bothering, that much is clear. Why... Why all these different now? So you came to see the trap? Y yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night. I... We got through that bit. Well you see, it's just... Yeah, we got through that bit. Why is it... But all the ticks and stuff. Alright, oh, Mr. Right. No, no, no. I'm sorry, it's just... You need something. Yeah, yeah. So... so I blue for a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... The big painting. What is with the big painting? Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right up there the other day. Was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. <laughs> Your Honor, objection. Fuck you. <laughs> well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you notice. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White connected somehow. C -c connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's. Black, your lovers! <laughs> He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. I think that painting is fairly gaudy, proof. Very well. 
This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? What are you talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Core is a company that excels at finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 fucking years, all because of the DL6 incident. As you may have guessed. Name back on those photographs. As expected, I cannot stand the defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if he did. So that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White would be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Fat joke. <laughs> what is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It's 15 years ago now. I received a request for a medium. Spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. <laughs> and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. It's what Ma was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is a deal, sits incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? I do not understand. The DLC incident was not secret at the time. Blacked out, some would say. It made sense. Police didn't want people to know they were using a the medium. They couldn't let people know, but one person found out. I told him. You told White? They offered me riches. It's an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked to them, the police were not far and wide. The secret they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White chose the law in this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at me as office. The files! She followed his every move for years. You may have recorded something of what she found. That's gotta be the files that are fucking missing. I'm, I'm cracking this case wide open. Oh, the cases the chief ever worked on. Out here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Hmm. Let's look at A to I. Hey, Jesus. How you doing? Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. <laughs> that is <laughs> A, B, F. Misty Faye. That's me and May Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Read it. I have tarnished the Faye name. Leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family. Power. I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. It's Parasite. Who makes his fortunes on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. To me, a new Grossberg. Of course, the other one is Mr. White. Let's go... I and Let's just go J to S. I don't think anything's going to be in there. J through S. Nothing much. Skim it. Ah, uh, well, no harm flipped through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here at the end of S is suicide. Right, we... Hey, Toad Speedster, how you doing? She's, she has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. <gasps> Blackmail! That's writing a versus visa, but it's because of. Uh, why? Blackmail! <laughs> yes, this is my first time. Well, second live stream I've done of it, but it's my first time playing through Ace Attorney. Wait, I get it. 
me and thought he was involved in these suicides. I knew it. He drove them all to it. I can use these piece of paper clippings. Hmm. Let's find them. <laughs> Let's find the most disturbing one. <laughs> Let's find the one most fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I kind of, I think I've kind of figured that out. But yeah, I just want to check for T to Z as well. C, U, I don't, W, Y. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Oh my god. I guess the one thing I've got to figure out is where, what to do with this. Ayo. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I do appreciate not spoiling too much. Like, I'll, I'll ask if I need help, but yeah. I'm gonna go. Let's let's go to Prosper first. I think let's let's present this. See what he um see what he knows. So she was investigating Red White as I expected. Well, if you want to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Yeah, but I'm sure I've got to do something else before I go to court, right? I don't want to show it to. Do I? Yo, know, let's fuck it. Fuck it. Well, are you persistent? Sorry, but it's something I have to ask you, Mr. Lawyer. I really hate I'm going to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. Try my patience further. I fear a nasty accident maker. Okay, then. Good. I was about to go and do it. Oh, actually do it? Okay, fuck it. I'm presenting it. Yeah. What's he gonna do? Rip it up or something? Bam! Mr. White. See this? It's an article described the suicide of partition. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me. Oh, mm -hmm. this isn't my problem. I found this article with Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White. I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. The company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. You got no proof, Mr. Rowell. What is that you should be doing out investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. The secretary's office? Hello. Mr. Rong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're on. Yeah. Mr. White, excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Why are you insinuated? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! <laughs> Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Rogue. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. A minute, minute, please. White? That's you? What are you doing calling me in time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? To be a fake case, I'm Mr. Murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quite soon. <laughs> I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be bad. What, what man? Are you even listening here? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer man. <laughs> what? Mr. White, this isn't the number one of those. Chief prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me. Correct. I'm telling you to send the police now. 
Did I not tell you, Mr. Rob? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. That case is gonna settle no lawyer of worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You became a lawyer so stupendously at that, that they make even you more competent. I, I feel faint. Detective Gomshi reporting, sir. Ah, oh, butts, heavy butts. <laughs> right, actually, Phoenix right. And my friend's name is Larry. Uh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshu, I present to you the man who killed Miss Faye. What? Well, what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Raul. September 8th, 3.47 p.m. Detention Center Visitor Train. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Wax gonna set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on, in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. That son of a bitch. An attorney was signed to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Right. <laughs> oh, Maya. Great. <laughs> they let you out of detention. <laughs> Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. And then the fact that you'll be in charge for the murder now. <laughs> now I'm afraid we switch places. What? You mean you? I explained what happened to Maya. <laughs> I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he satisfied my mother, my sister, and now you? This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me. Is there anything I can do? Um, well... You can defend me in court. <laughs> Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright, huh? Leave it to me. I am <laughs> me and sister after all lawyership. Runs in our blood. Was it Coach Bowser that ran in your blood? I better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of four rookies. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. <laughs> no, you're on my side. Uh, but, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll shut up my finger too. I feel like she's gonna get the scrap. Times may change, yet with Cram, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defense chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow's me or him. To be continued. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, I wanted that little jingle to go on longer. Well, let's just save real quick. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, right, this let to save data. Wow. Day three trial. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number one. Well, I guess it's it. Yeah, one way or another, this case gets decided today. After for Phoenix, look. It's that son of a bitch, Edgeworth. I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's Office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it would be the absolute truth. No matter how you would try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. That's why I have the judge in his pocket too. So, you say I'm gonna be guilty in the story? I would do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? What? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent. How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. 
So I made that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? The Phoenix! The Phoenix! Well, court will be starting soon. What, but wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Boom. This is fucking so good for the time. 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Rabble, 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 rabble. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'm defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we'll hear the testimony of a witness of the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call this witness. That went far too smoothly. When Judge asked Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before, it's like. It's like he already knows why. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. OBJECTION! Mr. Edgeworth, you have an explanation to God. Why did this witness testify in the trial against Ms. Marv Fay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man and besides, at the time I thought Ms. Fay's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. <laughs> True. Great, you get sharp and I get nowhere. I'd like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Uh, Mr. White, is it true that you are a meth kingpin? Is it not? Please say your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage. Fuck it up. Please bling out uh, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locution. Name! These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Core. Did you know the victim is my affair? Me affair? Fuck. That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Cape Water Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Um, <laughs> why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony, pal, I'm done for. If I can't rip this guy a new asshole, I'm done for. <laughs> True. True. I mean, if there was some blue on Mr. White, it'd definitely be up here. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho! <laughs> I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Where about it, Phoenix? Rip him a new asshole. Witnesses testimony! Witness account. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusified. Oh, that's what we did to you. Some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam come from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him. A spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Loy. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction, and it was all over. So if you called Miss May over, then how come she saw a woman, and you saw a spiky-haired man, huh? Hmm. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Cross-examination? Yes, you're on. Hmm, I've got to figure out what this is. Because, let's look at 
let's look at my options here. We've got the report. That's not that useful. I don't think my cell phone is. Glass shards, no. Did he say anything about murder weapon? Why type isn't useful? Neither is that. Neither is that. Okay, none of that. Wait. I check this real quick. 9.27am. Okay, it wasn't night. It wasn't night. Um, yeah, I didn't see anything wrong with that. Reading. Some bedlam. Up to the building. Attacking. Yeah. I'm... I feel like there's something about this. I feel like there's gotta be. I'm gonna press this. What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on TV and was weeping openly. Didn't know she had been taping the Faye off his phone. Objection. Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I cannot. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting low when she taped the phone of this Faye. You make a good politician, Miss White. Oh, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Okay, so that wasn't... I wasn't too useful. I might just need to press everything, I think. Yeah, I've got no clue. Bits of ran. Terrible impaction. Let's press this. Spiky hit. That, that's it. That was all of his impaction. <laughs> oh no! I accidentally impact. I I did the wrong. I did the same thing again. True. It's basically Mr. White cross with the Joker. <laughs> oh no! What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. That's what I was trying to get to. Miss May clearly say that he say look like a girl, and I don't look like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. So what is your eyesight? Uh, 2020? That makes 40, bitch! 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, who signs the judge on anyway? What did you do then? What? I thought that would... I thought that would work. <laughs> bedlam? A bedlam? It must have been one of your attack died to you. We see, continue. They have to <laughs> Hold it. So you're in pain since you heard that sound. But of course, I have no soon people out windows at night. T yeah, right. You made a career of snooping. All you do is snoop. Hold it. By window, you mean the one directly from the family cost. Correct, that's the only window you see. Then you're reading papers, correct? The gate warden is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy man who's had business to do. Bro, this was fucking tough. Hold it! <laughs> How do you know what time it was? Because I am always absolute, absolutely perfect, you know? No, 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 you're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lyatt. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for night. It happened soon after the room service arrived. I'm gonna press further. Through the bellboy who brought coffee saw Miss May. But he didn't see you. Ahem, this is your concern. Sir Lloyd, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. You'd need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm, tell us what we're doing at the time. I thought that could have been it. Shit. I don't... Yeah, fuck. Oh, damn. Hold it. I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, Complende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the, by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? 
as you know, I am quite absolutely perfect. Perhaps you can change your testament to threat this detail. Ugh. Um, impaction? Don't you just mean impact? Ridiculosity. I think you need to brush up on your language skills. Anyway, I better find weakness in there. I'm trying! I'm trying! Have I gone through all of these? Oh, fuck, I have. Shit. Um. Uh... Oh, what the hell? Oh! Boom, bitch! Boom, bitch! I've got ya! I've got ya! I've got ya! She went to the right! Not the left! She went to the right! You're done for! Objection. Wait! Right there, Mr. White! You dug your own grave! What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. That directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly said that the victim ran right. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. It's simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. There's nowhere to run left. And the victim here. The victim ran to the left as you claimed she did. She would have ran directly away from the door. She would have been running into her dead end. Don't fight that <laughs> <laughs> They're shamed. I did see a run to the left, I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Right, yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both of them are right. Both of them are right. Because <laughs> Mr. White was in the room. So his orientation was flipped. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. <laughs> I doubt it. That's impossible. That does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. Edgeworth. Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime at the hotel. Rabble, 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 rabble. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime at the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co, of course. Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. More specifically, he was standing here, where the K is. Take that. Bam. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Oh, oh. please. This is no time for jokes in ill days. That is where the killer was standing. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Order, I will have order. I will disturb the order this court would be having. Except Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rabble, rabble, you galleon. The postulations of defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. <laughs> you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now, he's laughing. You're being accused of murder and you're just laughing. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? I'm gonna figure you out, you motherfucker. I'm gonna find it very well. Let's see your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. She ran to the left. Ms. May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That's what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. 
dun, dun. This is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? No, I don't. Hmm, that doesn't seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? I think... I already know what's wrong. This bozo is going down because... Because... If I look at this, this motherfucker here... I think... Wait. Shit. But oh, she was caught in truck. Shit. Does it, does it say just one? It just says from a blow. If I hit her once, then that's a blow. If I hit her twice, that is blows. I've got you, motherfucker. I've got you. Objection. I object to your testimony, Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Rude. Uh, uh. That was my chance to hit him where it counts in the balls. Mr. White, was it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you can ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I'd like to request a 10 minute break. Yeah, yes, quite. Objection. I'm on a roll here, bitch. The witness is confused because he's lying. Because he's perjury. I've got you, you Alex Jones. You motherfucker. I am perfect. I'm, I'm practically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Rabble, 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 rabble. Don't let him get away. Rabble, 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 rabble. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony, the crowd's on my side, baby. Don't slip it out of this one, Mr. White. Uh, okay. The two accounts. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss May run to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Uh, and then she turned and ran to the door. Then you did a in with a single block. Flap! Flap! Hmm, flap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, see, it is hurting. Deal with it, motherfucker. What do I have to deal with this? Because. She did dodge an attack and run to the right. Quick. This is almost over. Apart from the fact that I, I can't see what's wrong with this. Um, okay. <laughs> you looked over at the other window when you heard the thing fall. Then the next moment, I... Wouldn't the thing fall during the attack? Not before it, or I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck blue. Attacked her, but she dodged. She turned and wrapped to the door. Then he did everyone with a single blow. Flat. He's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll catch him on site, but it won't be easy. I'm gonna impress this. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Uh. Oh, that, um. Glass light turn. Right. One that fallen over at the sea. Phoenix. That's so far that straight you odd. Yeah. How the fuck does he know it's a glass nightstand? Yeah. It's very fucking odd. Mr. White. Oh, what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. No, it wasn't. Because it was smashed. Fuck you, Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The sand broke into pieces when it fell. Oof. Just by seeing the broken pieces, 
you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me exactly, where was it you saw that stand? Was it when you murdered Bob Victim? <laughs> it, isn't it obvious? I saw the sand before it fell over. So you saw the sand before the victim was attacked then? Correct. That would be no problemo, right? Hmm. Big problemo. Big problemo. There is one big problemo. I mean problem here. Problem is this. Mr. White, let me make sure I have to shake you saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct, that is so. It's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. Let me have a look at this real quick. Boom. You couldn't see it through the window. You couldn't see it through the fucking window. You're done for. You're done for, mate. I'm sorry. You're fucking done for. No, it's impossible. I'm sorry. It's fucking impossible. You couldn't have seen it. You're done for. You're dead. You're fucking dead. Well, why couldn't he? You have proof? I should do you, Your Honor. A person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over because it is not visible from the window. Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were look through the window at the office, this is the area you'll be able to see. Bang! Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? I ended the velocity, Mr. White. If you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell over either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light. Dad. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. That is a pipe bomb, and the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Mr. White! Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Let's say we're about to get our verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? Ah, oh, I forgot about Edgeworth, Mr. White. I think the time has come. Should you confess your crime now? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? You son of a bitch, Edgeworth. You motherfucker, you. Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. Explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished methods of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corps. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is when was the wire down placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wire tap, you went to Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? Correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fae Co. Law Offices. That is when I saw that occurs like the stand. It was so memorable to me. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court as all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Feats has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the class stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could see the stand at the very moment of the murder. First, Mr. White would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see, however, 
It is a fact that Mr. White has been in the office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap. The encrypted glass stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright theory is revealed for the basic conjecture it is. Then why did he lie earlier, huh? That's still perjury. He's still going to fucking jail. <laughs> Mr. White, you would testify to court about this wiretapping. Ahem, leave it to me. Oh, fuck. The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Pearl Law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is where I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So, you saw the night stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? I'm not... I'm not an expert on wiretapping. But why was the wiretap found in the hotel room? Also... Check this real quick. He's very fucking dumb. For me. You're dumb for me. I I already see. I already see a big fucking floor. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. The week before the murder. It was fucking August, mate. All right. You're dumb for me. objection. Your Honor. That statement contradicts this evidence. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. What? That was a contradiction! A week before the 5th of September is August. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the tears of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the white tap was played before the murder. Right. It. I'm just gonna press all of them. I thought I had that. I thought I fought outside the box enough. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints, several days old, were found in the Co. Law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. But if they're unidentified, then, you know. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Co. Law offices. Place the wire tap. Hold it. Why did he tap me his phone? Objection. This is not very. We have a responsive set client confidentiality. Wait, do I? I don't have the fucking newspaper clippings, do I? Shit. Why didn't you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a less impression on me. Such a mutatious thing serves attention, does it not? That's all. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking... I'm gonna have to find something. Hmm. Sure. There's, there's nothing on this phone call, right? Uh, it's for... Baba Pui. Seal tonight at 9. I feel like it's just got something to do with the wiretap. I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm, I'm presenting the wiretap. I'm risking it. Objection. Your Honor. That statement contradicts the evidence. It does. I don't see if it contradicts. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What? Oh, yeah, proof. We're just going through all this again. Objection. Why did you tap the phone? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shit. I 
young. I don't know if there was anything to do. Fuck. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't die. Phoenix. Phoenix over here. I don't have voice. Me? Never give up, Phoenix. Uh, you're dead, what? Me? Oh, you fucking fainted, didn't he? Shit. Where, where am I? Waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinated. What? Oh, you're finally awake. Gag! <laughs> hey, Phoenix. Yeah, this is the way green old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. You're... But Maya? Didn't you know Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accept your feet in court, it appears that it's enough to... of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya is channeling you, Maya, Mia. That's right, I am Maya, but I am also Mia. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's why I came here to tell you. But we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. Huh? You had that receipt in your court record, right? Uh, oh yeah. The one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix Wright. Wright wrote that, not me. So what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. It's a regular receipt. So from $1,000 glass light stand. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've got you, son of a bitch. I knew you didn't go there a week before. I've fucking got you. Fucking dead. Rabble, rabble. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, you're on. I just, I just passed out. Your Honor, there's something to go back to. Um, no, of course, the examination is not finished yet. Objection, Your Honor. I've got one more thing to do. Oh, let, let him, let him try. Let us give Mr. Fuse right his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Hello, motherfucker. You're fucking done for. Objection! Look closely at this. See the word myrin and blood. <laughs> you grasp it. <laughs> you grasp it. I think not look at the other side of the receipt, motherfucker. The other side? Your honor. Would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm, well, glass light stand, and the date of purchase, why that's the day before the murder. <laughs> you see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered the bank on law offices at the beginning of September, there was no glass light stand, motherfucker. <laughs> well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can ya? No, it's... Impossible. achievable. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Objection! Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Ah, what no way can one's way out this one. Oh wait, I forgot it said you were. There is a certain threat of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Okay, I'd like to press one more day before Phoenix Wright describes his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Number inquiry, this is going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes a pleasant pleases. It's bad. I object. 
Miss White's guild is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Well, Miss Edgeworth. If anyone was going to call Miss White trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? Completion and trial of Miss Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure going to come up beside and just make up something. And after Mia showed up, tell me, you know. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you, your time. Yeah! The witness will stay! Oh! Ah. Phoenix! Read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Mia's memo? What? Let's people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent there, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life was riding on this one. I have something I'd like to read to the court. I've got a memo here that Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop the cyst halt! Please stop! Make him stop! Mr. White, admit your guilt right here. Right now, or else this list will be released to the press. I confess, I confess. I did not hear I hit Miss Mia with nothing. Case closed, Your Honor. Oh, well, I see no reason to continue this trial, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirit of defense. Yeah, yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Well, this court finds the defense. Um, rather than defend Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. <laughs> I did not. That is all. This court is adjourned. Are you not going to tell us that you find the dude guilty, though? Boom. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this yet, but congratulations. You're lucky I was born fair. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you li live? My time here is running out, huh? But his power's so weak, I can't stay here that long. Oh, I know. There's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief? <laughs> I'm not chief anymore. Phoenix. Can we come to the office tonight? Say, nine o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. And don't murder me this time. <laughs> chief, me up. Alright, we're in the offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came? Mia? I was kind of worried you might not, huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger, Mia? Wah! <laughs> you should see a thing, Mia. What are you talking about? It's me! Maya! Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like it? You, you were. Mm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy your lunch with you. Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this, see? Mia, write me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of her. She means the off this office. So I asked out when you write on code law offices, right? I'll got my own office, boy. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya! Ready to get down to business. Yo, don't mind me calling you Nick, do ya? It's a great name. Me said that's what your friend Larry calls ya, Nick. You know what this means? We're partners. Hey, we're partners. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. So, it's alright. Right and cold law officers, it's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. 
Wait, wait. <laughs> what, what's this face? Is you seen a ghost? Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here watching. Can you not? Can you not always be watching? That's a bit weird. Right. Okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on. Time's a wasting. Okay. Wait up. But wait. Someone's going to get murdered at the burger joint. I can see it happening now. And then we're going to get blamed for it. Brand new episode's been added. Turnabout Samurai. Is someone going to get stabbed with a fucking katana or something? Turn about Samurai. Grr, you have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. Right. What's this, Ghost of Tsushima? The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see. Yeah. <laughs> see you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa. The warrior's swords gleam and shake in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The dark messenger returns. Bro, that was just fucking Sekiro. October 14th, 5.31pm. Right and go, law officers. That right. See you in hell. Evil magistrate. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. It's my fucking office. Well, that's a real show you were watching. What, Nick? You mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? <laughs> it's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Uh, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing here all excited? You baby? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See, I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick, you fucking oldie. Hey, don't call me that. I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24. Okay? Then watch it with me. He's really cool and it's really popular. When he asked grade school kids what they want to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Which we had some clients on. Wait a minute. It's our new client. For Steel Samurai. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was talked to town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright and Co. law officers. How am I gonna get. I'm gonna pay the rent this month. I feel like people would pay attention after a big trial like that, but hey. It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. Oh my god. Right around that corner. It's a big client. Wait, why are we in his bedroom? That's loud, Jesus. Bring, bring. Bring, bring. Hello? This Phoenix. The Nook. Why? Uh, what? It's still early. Uh, it's the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai got arrested. Oh my fucking god. Hey, you mean guy from the show? Yes! The thing that the Steel Samurai killed a villain. Um. Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No, I mean, he actually did it in real life. He killed a villain with his Samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. I've got to save the Steel Samurai. I'm here. Mine's here watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Olde Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who placed the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through his body. Police believe this was a murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. Uh, no, 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 it's a nightmare. The steel samurai is over. The world is over. Why are you so loud, cellular? Yes, right, co officers. What? Nick, uh, it's Steel Samurai. What? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go, go. <laughs> Dad, the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. Damn, she is pissed. 
Hmm, yes. A plant again. <laughs> Let me just, um, examine everything real quick. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Boom. Everything's examined. What? What to do? Well, what should we do? Well, what should we do? I can just sit there like that. We have to get down to the detention center and meet the steel samurai. Duh. Does she want to investigate the case or just use some sightseeing? I wonder. My money's on sightseeing. Any ideas? Don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just me. You don't have a clue what happened. No! We just don't have enough information. Yes. Fucking peace. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck? What's wrong, Maya? It's him. In the flesh. Uh, is that guy really him? What do you mean that guy? Of course it's him. Well, Bow, it's a client. It's him. He looks like fucking Wolverine. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murderer. At least once. Maybe twice. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you say? Um, yeah, yes. It's not wrong. No, no, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know. I know you're disappointed, aren't you? You're disappointed? Oh, no, oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. Well, I got the part to see a samurai with that mask. I decided I'd never show my face in public until the job was over. Kids, you know. I don't want to wreck their dreams. I don't want them to know that the real steel samurai is saber tooth. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the steel samurai now. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He did do it. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Samurai. What happened? Maybe you can stop and tell us what happened. Uh, yes, of course. Seems like it was only yesterday, actually. It was only yesterday. Cast come down to local studios for a run through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. It was a rehearsal schedule for 5 in the afternoon. When 5 came around and staff gathered the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer. Dead! He had been expertly skewered with the Samurai Spear. Samurai Spear, yes, the long spear that I... Steel Samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you can explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick! I can say such a thing. I, I'm so sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, he's new to this. No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in the popular kids' show. He walks the streets of Neo all day, Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate, although, I guess he did defeat him this time. I see. Neo all day, Tokyo comes up with these names. What's your alibi? You ain't got no alibi, you ugly. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to studios at 9 o'clock. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsals begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for rehearsal. I hurried to the studio, found everyone looking shot. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon the murder. It's not an action hero. What would the kids think? I think I should probably check out and see the murder. Right, Global Studios, I drew you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. <laughs> Alright, we're on the move. Studio, main gate. October 16th. Wow, so this is where the main Steel Samurai show. Awesome! And you excited? Hey! You there, old bag. You want in? You gotta get from me. Uh-oh, so sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. It's my job to make sure the gawkers, like, will stay out. The gawkers. Gawkers. Sightseers. Dwarfs. I know the type. You heard about the incidents and gave Snoop around. Yesterday, something horrible happened to you. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. It's got through so fast. Maybe I should become a lawyer too. Sounds like life easy to be. Blah, 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 blah. I'm the fucking hell. To up it. Will I grow up be like her? Please say no. I know it's possible. <laughs> hey, 
That's why you're being smoked to use today. Yeah, you'll you use today. Main entrance. I need to get in. There's the map. There's car. Alright, Twack. Studios. What do you do here? Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days. No, you won't stop. Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Well, wow, this place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago now, that was studio dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer, the victim dummy. The evil magistrate has been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the material, best material to work with. You can tell me about Mr. Wheel Powers. He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You won't want to hit him off the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching with Lee's at lunch. It's probably why he thought that Steel Samurai was his big chance. I thought he was capable of doing what he did, poor Jack Hammer. We don't know that for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course it's guilty. I don't know, I know everything, that's my job. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Just playing the villain on the children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. Stuff to make you cry. What's your reason for suspicion? Why is you so, so certain that Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between one and two thirty when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mrs. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. I'm sure he would say that, he's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? Stop to see it. Move along. We're at Mr. Powers' re request, actually. Show me a letter of request. Maybe I'll just let you in. We don't have a letter of request, though, do we? I've got a badge. Let me in. What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. I'm an attorney. Alright, I need you to write me a note, right? No, 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 no. Is that right, Nate? Right. No, no. Unless you're not a suspect. You're totally a suspect. I need you to let me in. And uh, that's your gun. There's a... Uh, there's a girl lady. She's a bitch. She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yeah, yeah. It's actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask where it was, I believe. She sucks up all the big wigs in the studio. But let her see you slumber once. She'll never let up on you. She's got some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter for me requesting my representation? <laughs> of course. Twice. Alright, and um, what's your alibi? Well, what? No, I'd never do that. Oh, you said that you were sleeping in the dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby, but the security lady says she saw you that day. Says she saw you heading towards the scene of crime. What? That's not possible. I really don't want to say I was sleeping, I promise, Mr. Powers. You want to help you? You have to tell me the truth. I need this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know, I'm so sorry, but I swear to you, at my mother's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? She never said if she saw him or the steel samurai. Because that could be different. Alright. Can't, can't press on that, though. Boom. I've got a level request, man. Let me in. Yes, yes, I reckon it's a childish scroll. To think he would entrust his fate to use such unreliable appearance. Really, really. Anyway, you may pass. But only. Left from here towards the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal. With my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? They'll max the security guard station. I think. We should go to the employee area. Hey, not bad. Not a bit sense, please, thank you. Well, down go, Nick. 50 cents. <laughs> well, someone asked me my favorite rap. 50 cents. Wait, what's. The employee area is back behind us, then, isn't it? Oh no, it's to the left. Oh, I get it. Yeah, okay, I get it. 
There's just like another gate. Wait, why did I push down? There we go. Just send me to studio main gate. And then outside studio what? What the fuck is this? Hey! <laughs> and you the murderer from the other day! Ah! It's that confused detective. Hey pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's all your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring going me out of the window. Um, so... Hey. He's depressed. It's all your fault for doing some detective work. I am, Detective. I think he hurt his feelings. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people I want. But I don't chief in my heart. Hey, don't say so hard. It's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what is that you did go in it? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Uh, hey, you can't just go around here saying pal like that. I'm not your pal, buddy. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right? Hello, Mr. Gumshoe. I want to know about the investigation. How's it going, detective? Well, it's hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, detective, mind if I take a look at what you've got? Well, I got the autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Time of death, 10, 15th, 10th at 2 30 p.m. Pierce brood chest by a spear. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio 1. See? Now the victim in Studio 1 at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to a studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady in the main gate. See? Nick, if that's true, anyone would think the pals did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. Bad security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charm, huh? Oh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Powers said. She's sucking through authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence saying... What? What is this valuable evidence? What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the Steel Samurai heading towards the Steel I told you that it wasn't Powers. It was fucking Samurai. You didn't know it was Powers behind that. Good uh, see the camera up the one gate, pal. The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, the camera on man snaps a photo of him. Oh, no. Nick, he has evidence we're finished. We're not finished. Can the fuck down. What's wrong, pal? He's seen down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh, oh, oh. Um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure your thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course. Not going to find any clues I haven't already found here. <laughs> I already know it. Someone took his outfit. Someone pretended to be the Steel Samurai. Alright, there's a camera ID number. I don't know if that's useful, but got it. What's up with that thing? It was kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took down that tree with it too. There's a big welcome sign. Great. Oh, fuck. I keep pressing one thing. Let's move. Wait, why can't I move to Studio One? Let me in. Let's go in. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Hey, it's locked. Uh, we need a card key. Ooh. Wait. Oh, we can look at the tree. Oh, yeah, that, that's where you can't stage page. Say hello, oh, pal. There's something down there anyway. That's where she is. Who you speak, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. Maybe I want to go shoot her too, though, huh? You're gonna fucking stop me. 
Nick, look. The screw lady's in the guard station. Something her face donuts. I guess all cops are in donuts. <laughs> yeah, they're soft enough, so she doesn't need to chew on them. Hey, yeah. Well, are you satisfied, pounds and guilty yet? No. I'm not. Why didn't you tell us about the screw phone, man? Hmm. Oh, man. I just thought it would be more friendly to talk with the detective himself. Those things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. Hello, best YouTuber, my mobile gamer. Nice name. <laughs> um, how you doing? It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. Your reason for suspicion. Yeah, you passed that. Hammer went of one. Murder happened at 2.30. You only saw powers. You didn't see powers, though. You saw the steel samurai. That's different. Alright? It's fucking different. Was... Yeah, she was the biggest... Bit. She was the biggest, um... He was the biggest star, whatever. And has the evil magistrate. Boom, 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 boom. Automatic camera. Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. You just put all the photos on the computer over the security guard station. What if I viewed all of the photos on this computer? Hey, no touch! Hey, I, um, I need to look for evidence, lady. Oops, I just ended up in the employee area where I'm totally meant to be. Nick, this is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, this power's dressing room. No one's here. This soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. The door to the dressing room is not locked. Hey, Nick. Let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something. Yeah, you never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear. That's a murder weapon. Jesus. Jesus. It's so normal. Wait, wait. Look, samurai soda. Nick, try this. Boom, I love some samurai soda. All of the lunch from yesterday. T-bone. Minus the steak. <laughs> I don't know why he, they paid so much attention to that. I need to fucking sneeze. No, oh, not yet, though, at least. It feels like... That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick! No love about the industry. What else would they do? Where else would they keep it, huh? Where can I move from here? Let's go. And oh, I did thing. Take me to the dressing room. Oh, I, I just noticed there was the ability to slide in that previous room. This is where he was sleeping. Or at least it's where he claims he was sleeping. No, they actually sort of taking a nap here, did they? And there's a picture of him near the crime scene. No, there's a picture of the fucking samurai. It's different. Hmm, this must be his bag. <laughs> Look, employee car key. I'll be borrowing that. I'll just be, uh, taking that. Why not? Why not? There's a vast right cosmetics here. Oh, this is Wiggy using Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No, I can tell by the name of the show just by looking at a wig. I, um, kind of like Samurai movies. Kind of. Is there anything else in the bag? Stop it! Stop stealing shit. It's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to employees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, just eat some of the snacks. I don't care. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It's fun to wear one of the costumes. Cool, cool, cool. Window. It's locked. Bed. Someone was sleeping there. That's what happens. Mirror? Not a mirror. Well, the only thing of use seems to be the card key. The employee area. Slide. That's a half finished backdrop for a stage in there. Looks like castle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Bike. And what is this, huh? The grate that used to cover the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if you try to put it back on. If a metal grate on the drain's been taken off, that's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through that a bit. Yeah, if you snuck in that, you in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. 
Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest, right? Hmm. Hey, I'm not kidding. I feel like that's got some. Like that's gonna be something. All right, take me back here. Then you take me back here, and then can I just move straight on? No, I'm gonna have to examine. Let's go in and check out, Nick. Boom! It opened. We're in. See you, Gumshoe. A scene of the crime. What is it? You're really quiet all of a sudden. Don't give you shivers, Nick. The white tape. It's so real. The evil magistrate did die here and steal samurai killed him. The murder weapon with samurai spit sounds pretty real to me. Examine. Okay, the back the backpack doesn't matter. The backdrop. But the seal samurai show. We've got some lights. Wow, look at that camera. Must cost a ton. Bro, don't break it. No touching that. Hey, who are you? I apologize. You know, no, I don't know. Um, who are you? You me? I'm an assistant here. I open props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Are your WP's people? WP? Oh, Will Powers. Oh, WP, I get it, of course. I don't envy you guys one bit. But, do what you can for WP, okay? It'll never hurt Fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry. Leave it to us. Sorry, I'm, I'm busy examining. Get out of my way. This is the chalk outline. Funny, I spent spear stamina and leave at least a few blood stains. I guess Koshi must absorb most of it. There's a ladder. Look, a ladder! Well, a step ladder. There's a chair. Hey, look! That's a chair directs it. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap and start filming. And look, a megaphone! Wow, a megaphone? No way! Never seen one of those before. Alright. Talk. Tell me what you know. Can you tell me anything about the day in the murder? Yes, I was in the studio all day. I was the only assistant on staff at AC. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. Yes, it was only rehearsal for action sequences. Oh, I see. But if you were there the entire day, I thought Hammer was meant to be the only person in the studio. In the morning, we went through the action sequence in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yeah, that's the place. After eating lunch, then Miss Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Mm. Did you notice Miss Power's sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had an urgent message for him. I mean, this is private. What kind of a girl do you think I am? Well, what kind? No, no, I mean, sure, you're fine. Go Sorry. So much for getting confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. Dub B was the only one who came to the studio. And he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue, a lead. Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just afternoon, I sent someone was here. You sent? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I had a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. Unless they went through the grate. Sensing someone? You sent someone that other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness, a witness stunt. That's what it is. Nick, what about security lady? If someone else came into the studio. She must have seen them. I know. I'm gonna go and do that. You said that before. <laughs> We're going. Don't wanna examine. Wanna just keep on moving. Hello, Miss Mrs. Security Lady. Were well, you still here? Really? Like to say you've seen a ghost. What about the assistant's face? What? 
I saw that suspicious look on your face. I want to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammond's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Pow is the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as I can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you actually sure you were here watching the whole time? Main? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Or are you meant to tell me you quit, you spy kid, Fred? Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, just talk to the sister you want. Uh, she's not even full time play. Oh, you young. <laughs> she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what, what we can about looking over our shoulders. You know what I'm gonna fucking do? I'm gonna snoop a little bit on the computer. I wanna look at the computer. It's gotta have something on it. 1 p.m. That's when the security lady arrived. Oh shit. I think it was this one. There entered. Boo. Nothing happened. Oh, huh? maybe I got the number wrong. Shit. Try it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep keep on guessing. I can't be asked to go back. 307. There entered. Boom! Boom, bitch! It's the Steel Samurai. Huh? How is this picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why Scrutiny thought it was him. That's what I've been saying. Like, it's not... You can't say it was exactly him. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that date. No, that's the only one on the computer. Hey, Nick. Can't we use this photo's evidence to try Yes. Right, we'll put her in a place. Hey, that's what I say. Anyway, let's show this photo and see what she said. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. I think, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Hey. Why do I be the villain? Alright? Especially the one which is dead. I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is a security lady. No way. To be continued. Um, I think that's probably it for today. I was probably going to push through to do the court. Like, the day one court bit, but I feel like that might last a bit and I am... I am hungry. I want to get some food. I will be streaming later today, normal time. So that's um, around 6 p.m. UK time with more Ghost of Tsushima. Hopefully streaming tomorrow morning around the same time as today, playing some of the Binding of Isaac. And Sunday morning, um, playing some more Phoenix Wright. And Sunday afternoon, playing some more Devil May Cry 4 is the plan. May not all go to plan but let's hope all of that works out but i will most likely be on tonight playing some more ghost of tsushima so until then i've been go i've been compact chat and i'll see you guys later